News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Let's go ahead and look at our KX Cam Network here this evening. Seeing a mix of sun and clouds, more cloud cover up towards the north right now. Temperatures are still sitting in the 30s and the 40s. Bowman still near 50 degrees here this evening, sitting at 48 right now. If we go ahead and look at our temperatures across the board right now, we're sitting in the 30s and the 40s for most of us. Still seeing some 50s down in that southwestern corner, but temperatures will continue to cool off through the overnight hours tonight, getting down into the 20s for most of us. Maybe some 30s are still possible again towards far southern North Dakota. Looking at our winds right now, we're pretty negligible overall with these winds. A bit of a breeze out towards the west, however, about 5 or 10 miles per hour with those winds being directly out of the west. But elsewhere, pretty calm and variable with, with respect to our directions right now. Our wind chill report brought to you by Absolute Comfort Plumbing and Heating. Not seeing much in the way of a wind chill really across the board. Maybe a slight wind chill up in the far north where those temperatures are just a little bit cooler. But overall, our Real temperature feels just like our wind chill report right here is again, those winds are fairly calm. Looking at our mid level temperature map right now just to get an idea of how the pattern is going to evolve over the next few days or so. We're still sitting under the influence of this nice ridging pattern down towards the south. Got this trough up to the north really won't influence us influence us for the next couple of days. As you push through Wednesday and Thursday, that ridge really does build out towards the west. Going to give us that nice southwesterly flow and an increase in our temperatures. Looks like tomorrow and Thursday will be the warmest days in the next couple coming up. As you get into Friday, however, you see how this we have this colder air mass up towards the northeast. That's going to influence us a little bit as you get into Friday, a little bit cooler for us on Friday because of that colder air mass up over Canada. But as you push into the weekend, that ridge really pushes further off towards Towards the east, giving us those warmer readings for our weekend once again. As you get into Monday and Tuesday, you see this nice drop off though with that troughing pattern. That's going to give us a drop off in our temperatures. It should be not too long lasting, but a little bit of a drop off with those readings mid next week. Maybe some possible precip associated with that. We'll keep our eye on that here at the KX Storm Team. Looking at temperatures for tomorrow again, tomorrow should be the warmest day of the next few for us. We're seeing widespread 40s and 50s across the board. Wouldn't be surprised some of these areas down towards Hettinger and Bowman get a little closer to the mid 50s, possibly upper 50s. We'll just see how that plays out. Areas like Dickinson, Garrison, Bismarck may get a few degrees warmer as well, depending on how much sunshine we get. If we get a little bit stronger flow with that southwesterly wind pushing through the area up to the north. Though, we're seeing widespread 40s well above normal for us this time of year. A little bit cooler on Thursday with those expected highs, but still seeing widespread 40s across the board here. Not much in the way of a difference between tomorrow and Thursday. Precision cast not really seeing much the next few days. Maybe a chance for a slight shower or two in central and eastern areas tomorrow afternoon. But once we get past that, there's just nothing really to see here as far as precipitation is concerned. Just mix of sun and clouds really the next five days or so heading into the weekend for us. Williston's five day forecast has highs in the 40s and 50s the next five days. Average high there is 28 degrees right now. We're 20 degrees above that really for the next foreseeable future. Dickinson's similar story here. Highs really near 50 the next five days or so. Jumping out to Minot for our seven day forecast. High of 43 the next couple of days. Again, a little bit of a cool off for Friday, but near 50 for those highs into the weekend. Similar story for Bismarck, a breezy end of the week, highs in the 50s, and you see that drop off for Tuesday, a big down draw between Monday and Tuesday there. But hey, highs in the 50s the next six days or so, I'll take it. As much as this temperature trend is changing again, I know we got a really blustery day last weekend when that happened, I guess. Are we getting more of the same here? Friday into Saturday, perhaps some wind. Not as strong as we saw last weekend, but yeah, as that pattern changes, we'll see some winds. All right, it'll be nice to see the 50s and sunshine, though. For sure. Kenny, we'll thanks so much. And coming up next, we check in on 